Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. We could have a tropical storm developing. Uh, very, very unusual for this time of year to be looking off the coast of Africa. I want to get into that. I want to show you three computer models, what I'm seeing with this with the chance of development, but also why this could be good news down the road. So tons to cover, but usually we're not looking out, out here this time of year. Water temperatures are usually cool, but this tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa right now is going to spin up somewhat over the next few days. So you see the broad picture here. And by the way, in this video, I'm also going to break down the Caribbean. We've got this blob out here in the Western Caribbean by Central America. I'll get into the flooding watching near Trinidad and Tobago behind this tropical wave. Look at all this moisture here. But again, it's off the coast of Africa where we could see some development as we go over the next couple days. I was talking about this yesterday. I put it in my, I did a whole video on this yesterday. And now this morning, the National Hurricane Center put out that, hey, they're seeing that chance of development as well once this comes off they're seeing a low chance of development at this point so let me break it down for you let me start with the american model the gfs which is seeing some development out of this now all three models are seeing at least some development so definitely has my attention again i, I want to go over why we don't have to worry about this quite yet but i'll get into that in a second let me show you let me take it out in time all right this is by the time i'll stop the clock right here late on sunday okay so here is the caribbean gulf of mexico here florida bahamas you see it right there that blob right there We've been seeing them falling apart, which is common for this time of year, but the water is super warm here. Very unusual this time of year. This is something we usually do in August. We're tracking things off the coast of Africa, right? But now we're doing it in June, which is odd for this uh, time of year. We get a look here. This is by Thursday. Now you see this blob right here. American model wants to make this very close to a tropical storm, okay? Now, what it does though is there's an area of high pressure to the north. It eventually kind of curls it back to the north and it misses the Caribbean, which may not be good because while I don't want a tropical storm, we don't root for hurricanes and tropical storms, we desperately need the rain in some spots. More on that ahead. Now, here's what's going on. Here's the European model. Again, this map different. Uh, here's the uh, Caribbean. You get back through the Atlantic. Watching this area of high pressure. Now, here, I want to take you out on time. This is by the weekend. You see the blob of rain right there. Here's this area of high pressure. Okay, so the European model has this area of high pressure. High pressure acts like a fence or a blocker. It has a little bit more to the south, and that allows this blob here to move more into the Caribbean. So the American model saying, hey, this area of high pressure, not a big factor. I'm just gonna kind of curve. I'm gonna miss the Caribbean. The European model as of now is saying, no, this area of high pressure, it's gonna be kind of locked in and it's gonna be right about here. So that means this is by the time we get into Tuesday, that means this area here, instead of curving out to sea, would just kind of go right into the Caribbean. Now, with that said, what does that mean? That could be some very good news if we could just get some rain or we could be dealing with a tropical storm. This is way out in time though. Let me stop it here. This is by Thursday and a Friday of next week. We're talking late next week and next weekend. With that said, things are going to change. The weather, two to three days forecast is usually very locked in. Once we get past that, it gets difficult. Again, we're looking into stuff in the future. We're dealing with the whole atmosphere and everything going on across uh, the globe. So again, I do expect changes, but what this is saying here, let me give you a closer look. What this is saying is this would bring at least some of the rain from it into the Caribbean, the European model. Here's a closer look. So you see Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, US Virgin Islands, Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad, and Tobago, Guyana, Dominica, uh, we get over toward Guadeloupe, Martinique. Now this is again, by the time we get into Sunday, you see it right there, there's that area of rain. Here's this area of high pressure, which would act like a blocker. So I'll take it from Sunday. This is uh, by about Sunday afternoon and then bring you out in time here. This area of high pressure just builds in just north of the Caribbean, right through here. You see it, this is an area of high pressure right through here. So this would allow this area just to swing more and more right into the Caribbean. Now, what does that mean? You're gonna hear a lot of folks talking about this, obviously the next couple of days, as they should. I always like people uh, to have advance warning. By the way, I see you sharing this channel and I do, I really appreciate you sharing this channel to get the word out about safety. And again, I'm not here to hype anything. I'm just telling you exactly what I'm seeing. Uh, so this here, and as folks talk about it, I want uh, them to know uh, as well that it could be good news. So you could tell them, hey, maybe this will just be a rainmaker. But there are some scenarios. The European model wants to make this a tropical depression or a tropical storm, and then we'd have to deal with gusty winds and that sort of thing. But as we get into next weekend, 
late next week and next weekend, the European model does bring this into the central and northeastern Caribbean. But again, the American model kind of curves it away. All right, what are all the other models doing? And there's a billion out there. The Canadian model, just to show you that, for instance, and you see the Gulf of Mexico back through here, is showing at least a little development. So when you see all the models, the various models, and models are different computers and they have different parameters and all that fancy stuff that all oh, is way smarter than me. Uh, when you see all of these different computers seeing kind of a similar thing that does grab your attention and say, hey, maybe something will develop. Now, the Canadian model here, as we take it on time, this is by by late next week, it doesn't show a ton of development. It does not make it a tropical storm, but it does bring rain into the northeastern Caribbean. That would actually be best case scenario. Hey, no tropical storm, but we get some rain right where we need it. That would be a gift. That would be excellent. So I'll be waiting to see on that. Now, what could make it develop? What could make it fall apart? Well, looking at the dust, first off, we're going to see this surge of dust moving into the Caribbean today and over the next couple days. There's a bigger surge of dust coming off right when this is trying to develop. Sometimes dust prevents things from developing, not all the time. These things could kind of create their own environment, kind of keep away some of the dust. And that's what the models are generally seeing. They're saying, hey, yes, there's a lot of dust out there, but there is a chance because the water's so warm, there's not a ton of wind shear out there that this may spin up. Now, I talked about the wind shear in yesterday's video. There is going to be some wind shear as well here. Those are winds way above our head that can knock off the thunderstorm tops, which is a good thing and help prevent it from developing. But as of now, they're going there's going to be a lot of dust. So we'll just see how it kind of handles the dust. This is way out in time. Again, this is late next week. So I'll just monitor that with you day by day. Now, the European model actually gives out kind of percentages as far as development goes. Right now, it is giving about a 30% chance of a tropical storm developing close to the uh, uh, close to the uh, Caribbean, the northeastern Caribbean. So about a 30-40% chance that this does develop into a tropical storm. So I'm going to monitor that. Uh, the European model is a little more aggressive with this. Uh, so is the American model. But again, the American model kind of spins this away. So yes, it could develop. So what does this mean for us? What do we do? Well, all we do right now is monitor this. Now, it's unusual to track something way out there this time of year. But it's not unusual to track something. It is the hurricane season. So again, uh, if you're talking with the folks out there and you're sharing this channel, um, you know, just let them know. At this point, it's just a wait and see. We're just kind of monitoring this. It could actually be good news in the end. Let's hope that's the case where we just get some of that beneficial rain. Now, if this area or another area that could develop gets a name, the next name on the list is Brett. Again, we had Arlene spin up briefly in the Gulf of Mexico uh, last weekend, but Brett is the next name on the list if we happen to get a name uh, storm soon. So yes, a very unusual time of year for this. The water though is above average, way above average, dealing with the dust and the wind shear. And again, uh, we'll see how it uh, deals with both of those. So the dust and the wind shear may prevent some development, but overall this could bring some welcome rain. And we're watching this for again, the time frame would be Thursday and Friday of next week. And potentially if it just goes into the Caribbean next weekend for something. Uh, could be a blob of rain, could be a tropical depression, could be a tropical storm. All right, let's bring it closer to home now. Watching this, my friends in Nicaragua, exactly what I was talking about yesterday, which was my high concern of mudslides, landslides, and flooding. This area is flooding up. In Guyana, I'm watching us, Suriname, coastal sections of Guyana, and near Trinidad and Tobago, once again, watching that moisture that is getting very close. And we're thinking of our friends up here in parts of Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, that have been dealing with severe weather, ongoing severe weather, southeastern United States, once again, just a very aggressive pattern up there. And again, some of that rain has once again moved into the Bahamas. I was thinking it was going to stay a little bit to the north. It moved into the Bahamas last night and this morning. All right, let's get a look at what to expect on a closer vantage point. And I also want to talk about the potential of some development here. So not seeing any crazy signs of that. But as I mentioned the last few days, just keep an eye on a spin up possible here. This is by tomorrow afternoon. Scattered shower watching that Trinidad, uh, Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, ABC Islands. We have been in between stuff over toward Aruba, uh, Bonaire, and Curacao. Now, as we get into Saturday, the rain's still south of the Cayman Islands, mainly south of Jamaica. In Belize, right now, it looks to be off to the east. But watching the heavier rain, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. 
My friends in Guatemala and El Salvador, again, not a lot doing besides spotty storms as of now. But look at this as we get into Sunday. And again, this is several days away, so I need to see this carefully. But there is that potential, as I mentioned yesterday, that some of this rain could lift to the north. By Sunday, uh, there could be some increased rain. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, parts of Cuba, and Haiti. And then I'll wait and see how much of this swings back near Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador. But eastern Honduras, down through Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, at least in the short term, we have that flood threat. And again, a very active pattern toward Trinidad. And then here's this dry spot that we've been seeing, St. Lucia, Barbados, north and it, hopefully we get some rain as we work our way deeper into next week with that next system but we'll see how that all shakes out all right so as far as two-day rain totals go uh, this is uh through uh tomorrow night and again actually you know what this is actually a three-day total i should have updated that that's my mistake this is a three-day total i remember i did that when i was putting together this map so this is through tomorrow and then this would be through saturday night we could have some spots eastern honduras nicaragua uh into uh, costa rica panama of 100 millimeters of rain. I've been highlighting this for days and days. High concern of flooding here. Spotty showers and storms, Guatemala, El Salvador. My friends in Colombia, we've been seeing some higher rain totals and in Venezuela, passing showers as we get over uh, toward uh, Trinidad and Tobago on the north side. Could be heavier though, south side again. That's where that focus has been. That forecast has been coming true, unfortunately, with some of that flooding. Higher rain totals again in Guyana. I'm concerned about some flooding in this area. And then we'll see down the road by the time we get into Sunday, how much of this rain lifts up toward Jamaica. Had some gusty winds as well. Those are picking up. As the tropical waves move in, you've been noticing some gustier winds. Uh, Ruba, Curacao, Bonaire, uh, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and Grenadines, Grenada. We could have some gusts over 50 kilometers an hour, generally over 35 miles per hour, choppier seas for our uh, uh, boating interest out there and fishing interest. So again, this is a split forecast for Trinidad and Tobago. Again, I'm just kind of putting a broad brush of 50% because again, northern zones drier, southern zones will be wetter, watching out for that potential of flooding. Please leave that info in the comments. Guyana, a high chance of rain. Northern Guyana, high concern for more flooding, very close to northern Suriname as well. Guyana, we're going to see those high totals that will be working in. Then Costa Rica, watching on. This includes Panama, Nicaragua, very high chance of rain, mudslides, flooding. Thank you for getting the word out about this channel in parts of Central America as we watch this flood potential. And this is all with a tropical wave that has moved in. Belize, we'll see how Sunday goes. Okay, the next couple days, spotty shower storm. We'll see how much of this gets closer by Sunday into Monday. Jamaica, next couple days, spotty shower storm. But again, late Saturday into Sunday, I'll see how this develops, this area in the Western Caribbean, and lifts up to the north. So I'll monitor that. Dominican Republic, isolated to scattered showers and storms, a 30 to 40% chance in super hot. Haiti, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, with the dust that's moving in, we're going to be super hot, excessive heat again. Heat index is soaring when you factor in the humidity. So southeastern Caribbean, areas of flooding. Central America, areas of flooding. Watching the mudslides, that, what I was just talking about, the drought and the dust rolls on for some of us. Northern and northeastern Caribbean. The next day, and by the way, I'm watching that rain in the uh, Bahamas and that severe weather threat, southeastern United States. Next name on the list is Brett. So it does have my attention, that strong tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. We've got a long hurricane season to go through. Not everything turns into this dramatic hurricane. Some do, and I'll track it for you. But again, I'll take it day by day with you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being part of this uh, channel and sharing it. I hope you have a good day ahead.